welcome back uh, to my YouTube channel. So today's video is about getting to know me. Uh, just a couple of facts about myself that I think is important for y'all to know and understand. So while we're on this journey, you'll have a better understanding of who I am and why some of my opinions are the way that they are. So let's get started. First off, I am 40 years old. Or I could say I'm 40 years young. Because I think I'm still young. I think I still look good for the age of 40. Uh, sometimes I say I'm 21, but that's neither here nor there. To me, age is only how long you've been here on this earth. It doesn't dictate who you are. Sometimes my knees feel 40. But other than that, I, I, I think I'm young. Yeah, I feel younger than 40, and I'm blessed to be here at least 40 years so far. Um, I am from Portsmouth, Virginia, a.k.a. P-Town. For those of y'all that is in P-Town, yes, I rep P-Town to the fullest. Uh, I have one sister and I have one niece. Yes, I am married, but I have no kids whatsoever. I have two fur babies, which is Coco and Nina. Um, Nina is a full husky. Coco is a husky German Shepherd mix. They're both my babies. Uh, I was born October the 2nd, which makes me a Libra, and they are the best people on earth. You should get to know you a Libra. They're great people. Uh, my favorite food, I would have to say, is chicken. Don't stereotype me. And sushi. I became fond of sushi these last couple years, and I'm, I just I just love sushi. The problem is it's hard to find sushi here in Hawaii. Uh, one thing that's real big to me that's near and dear to my heart is family and friends. Um, I try to keep my um, I try to keep my friend circle kind of small because I was always brought up on that friends should be treated just like family and that's what I do I treat my friends just as if they were my family so if you're in my small tight knit circle hey you know I would give you the coat off my back if I had to to help uh, I currently reside in Hawaii right now um, Hawaii is a little bit different but it'd be more videos to follow on why I say Hawaii is a little bit different um, the best way I can explain it to kind of wrap it up, wrap up me living in Hawaii real quick is that Hawaii is behind and that they are slow. And as the journey goes on, you'll understand why I said Hawaii is behind and Hawaii is slow. But if you go down to Waikiki, that's where all the fun and excitement is because they have took Waikiki and made it so tourist down there. But I will take y'all down to Waikiki eventually one day so you can see what Waikiki is all about. Uh, in my free time, I like to play video games. I like to play computer games. I like to fly my drone. Um, I like to work on my YouTube channel as well, since that is now a, a pastime for me. Uh, it's not a full-time job for me. I consider this a pastime, something I can do for fun, something I can do to just uh, reach out to a different set of audience, more or less. Uh, I am currently in college. I go to Hawaii Pacific. I am working on my bachelor's degree in criminal justice. Uh, hopefully, the end of next year, I should be done with that as well. And like I said, as videos goes on more and more, I'll give you more detail on uh, what I want to do with that degree. Um, I have been in the military now for 20 years. It is. It went by quick as, it went by fast, it went by quick. Like, I looked at one day, I was, I was at 10, and the next thing you know, boom, I was at 20. Um, but like I said, we'll talk more about my years in the military and how I feel about it. And as I start to transition out and start my retirement into something totally, totally different. Um, let me see what else. Um, my favorite singer is Beyonce. Uh, I just think she, she's been around for a very long time. And if you follow her career as I have, you've seen she's only got better with 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 everything that she's done so far. And then she stays out of the, the limelight, the, the public limelight. There's not too many negative things people say about her whatsoever. And the firm believer, if she ever comes to Hawaii, if she ever does a show in Hawaii, I can almost guarantee. Matter of fact, I am 99% sure I will not be at work that day. I will be so weird listening to Beyonce. Judge me if you want to. It's okay. You don't know my life. <laughs> um... My favorite color is red and blue. Um, they are my wedding colors as well, as well too. Um, what else? I am a very positive person. 
I try to find positivity in everything. So that's why I'm real big on this station being a positive, a positive YouTube channel. Like just we try to stay away from the negative stuff. We know there's negative stuff out there in the world today and I got it and I understand it. But we have to look for the positive stuff and I then I thank the military for that and a couple of my close friends for that too, who always tell me that it may look bad now. But there is somebody out here who got it much more worse than you do at this point. And I've always believed that. I may be sucking at something or I'm, at, I'm doing something that I just don't like to do. But I always think in my mind, there's somebody else who got it much more worse than I do. And it kind of makes me feel a little bit better at uh, what I'm doing and how I do it. And I, and I thank some good friends for good friends for that one who always, keep, always kept that in my head the whole time. Um... I think that's about it, about getting, about getting to know who I am. If you have any additional questions about, if you have any questions about getting to know me, drop them down in the, uh, in the comments and I will um, do another video like this and I will answer all your, all your questions uh, for you. Um, that will conclude this video really because that will really conclude this video. But at the same time, hey, I know this COVID-19 thing is going around. I was always brought up to be a clean person. Wash my hands, you know, you know, clean up after yourself the whole nine yards. So all this COVID stuff and people telling you, hey, wash your hands. That's second nature to me. I always wash my hands. So I'm, I'm not going to insult your intelligence by telling you, hey, wash your hands. All I'm going to tell you to do is be safe out. Be safe out there. Look out for the kids. Look out for the elders. Make sure they're taken care of. And, why, and look out for yourself while we're in this shelter in place or just stay in your house thing. Watch out for each other. Social distancing is a big thing. The biggest thing that I can say is if we can't talk to each other via face-to-face, -face, there's so many other uh, avenues that we can talk to each other. Telephone, voice, um, face, uh, FaceTime or, or Google Duos or anything like that whatsoever. You can Snapchat, you know, Instagram now. You can talk to people, so you're not alone out here. If you if you need someone to talk to because you're in your place and you're de you're depressed, please reach out to somebody. Let somebody know and get you the help that you need. Remember, we're in this together. We're in this together. Uh, stay safe, people. Stay out of trouble. And I'll see you on the next vlog. Bye.